Well, we start tonight with a fire in Duchesne County. Destroyed multiple structures today. It's happening near Fruitland, just south of US 40. ABC 4's Nicole Newman with details now from the front lines. Hours after the 6400 fire spark, you can still see areas where it is still burning. The fire is at just over 200 acres burned, and it was definitely a scary time for families who were forced out of their homes. It's moving dang fast, getting a little too close for comfort. Kyle Wilkerson got a call today no one wants to receive. About quarter after 12 is when my wife called me. On the other end, his wife Kylie frantic as flames ravaged a home and the field right across the street. It's in the neighbor's yard, so we are going to try to hurry and get the hell out of Dodge. I told her to get, get the kids and get out. At the time of the call, Kyle was at work. And the whole way here, I mean, my my palms were numb, you know, and I was just driving just as fast as I could, you know, to get here. And we have animals here and <clears throat> just hoping that it hadn't got across to our property. Crews from multiple agencies fought the fire from the air and on the ground, keeping it from spreading to the Wilkerson's home. So we know it was human caused. Um, it started this afternoon just right along the highway here. There were multiple starts here. At the time the flames first sparked. The fire station is just right here and a couple of firefighters, including the chief, was at church here right across the street, which is just one of those fortuitous circumstances. Thankfully, they were able to quickly respond. It pretty much took everything that they had and uh, it burned a house down, their camper, sheds. I mean, it, it took everything. I mean, in these conditions, it just moves so fast. I mean, there's pretty much nothing that, nothing that you can do. Homes were evacuated while crews responded. Residents were allowed back into their homes around 6 Sunday evening. In Duchesne County, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. Thank you, Nicole. Some scary moments there on camera. Obviously, you see the side of those burning embers, and you feel for that family. Firefighters say this fire is now 50% contained.